What's this? It looks like a pair of binoculars. Hmm, whatever that thing is, it's letting that bad guy type with the glasses on into the evil dog bot's Achilles heel. It looks like some kind of breath analyzer. There's too much of a rose tint on that screen to make out what breath it's showing. Maybe I should contact Monkey Penny on the spy watch. Very strange weather we're having, eh? Everything's great when you have food on stick. Don't you think, sweetie? Yes, I suppose so. I'm not in the mood to eat right now. Although that looks scrumptious, I'm not in the- That looks delicious. So that's my contact, eh? Brilliant disguise. I'd like a candied apple, please. Certainly, sir. Here at Food of the Future, all food is on stick. It allows you to enjoy your favorite foods without using a knife or fork or having to stop what you're doing. Here you go, a free candied apple on a stick sample. Well, I have the candied apple. Isn't that just grand? Yes, but I, meaning me, have in my possession the candied apple. Only one candied apple sample per customer. Now run along and enjoy the fair, Pumpkin. Maybe she wants me to come back when there are less people around. Oh well, this candied apple looks good. Watch what you're doing. You want to give me a coronary? Ah, Lenny, you're the apple of my eye. What information do you have for me? Hi, Spy Fox. Listen close. <laughs> There are spies everywhere, so don't look directly at me. This leaf contains the information that you need. This is too small to read. What do you want from me? I wrote it with my teeth. Now I got the split. People are starting to stare. Throw me in the dumpster. Suit yourself. Oh! I'm all right. Save yourself. I can see a square, a star, and a triangle on this leaf. <laughs> the flytrap is locked. I did it! Oh, thank you, sir. I'll just replace that atrocious flytrap with his beauteous rose. Nicely done. I can dispose of that flytrap for you. How polite. Obviously, you're a fox with home training. Yes, I am housebroken, thank you. I thank you so much for the rose. All in the line of duty. I really like the rose you gave me. Thank you again for taking away that mutated Venus flytrap. Don't mention it. I'm fully trained in the removal of mutant Venus flytraps. That bad guy put on those glasses, breathed on that breath device, and the secret door opened. That must be the secret door La Roche mentioned that leads to the inner workings of the evil dogbot. I need to figure out how to get in there. These rose-tinted glasses might come in handy. That's not going to do me any good. I wasn't fast enough. I need to get a better vantage point over that bad guy's shoulder. Wearing these rose-colored glasses all over the fair will give me a headache. These glasses really add a rosy glow to the whole fair. Go Ruby. <coughs> there's 
There's nothing like relaxing with a pair of binoculars. These binoculars work swell. I can see that goon breathing into the analyzer. Something's appearing on screen. It looks like pickle pot pie. That breath analyzer is checking for the aroma of pickle pot pie. I just need to eat some pickle pot pie and breathe into that breath analyzer and then I'll be able to get in that evil dog bot. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about the breath analyzer food pickle pot pie. Can you prepare pickle pot pie? Why, I won the French cooking medal of honor for my pickle pot pie. And of course I can make it. Well, that is, I could make it. But I only have one pickle right now. Can't you make it with the one pickle you do have? Absolutely not. Good pickle pot pie must be made with exactly two pickles. Here, you can take this one and if you can find another exactly like it. I'd be more than happy to make you some pickle pot pie. Thanks, Chef. Two pickles, eh? I'll get those for you on the double. Stir, stir, stir. You clone it? You got it. Got one, one, two, clone it. I have this pickle. Don't come running to us with your troubles. I think he wants us to clone it, doll. Very well, late. You do the honors. No, after you, I insist. No, please, after you. I'll do it. Don't touch that. Isn't that amazing? Yes, but does it do julienne fries? You can always tell what a customer is not going to buy, Lee. You speak the truth, doll. Are you... <laughs> Here you are, two big juicy pickles. Wonderful! How exciting that you should find two so identical! They appear to be exactly alike! Perhaps they're related. The secret of gourmet cooking is careful mixing of only the finest ingredients. Hopefully we'll have the opportunity to try that one of these days. Voila! Oh, thank you! My breath should now be potent enough to get me past that electronic sniffer and into the secret workings of the giant robot dog. What do you know about that? Pickle Pot Pie did the trick. Now I can come and go as I please. La Roche's breath analyzer was no match for a clever international spy like me. I must be in the belly of La Roche's evil beast. I should have a look around. Look at them. 
the fools are unaware that by simply entering the fair, they are making possible my plans for world domination. As they enter the fair, they pass through a turnstile, which rotates a series of gears beneath the admissions gate. These gears in turn rotate a giant underground trench that passes below the fair to the base of my cleverly disguised giant robot dog. From there, another series of gears turn, spinning the drive shaft, which turn yet more gears that wind up the massive spring that will power my unstoppable evil dog bot. When the one million tourists come through the turnstile, my evil dog bot will be completely wound. And then, I will unleash the dog bot on the unsuspecting world and conquer it in the name of Smelly! <laughs> Holy Roach, that is a good one. The opening and closing of that door must be controlled by some sort of fingerprint recognition device. I wonder what would happen if... A picture of La Roche. Hmm. I'll bet if I want to get into that room, I'll have to find a way to get a copy of LaRoche's fingerprint. My intellectual fox deductive-like reasoning tells me that the opening and closing of that door must be controlled by this fingerprint recognition device. Let me try again. Nope, it's still not working. If I'm going to get in, I'm going to have to get a copy of LaRoche's fingerprint. I can't see anything. I need some way to shield my eyes. I'm blinded by the light. I need something to shield my eyes. Please stand by. How's the mission going, Spy Fox? I have the activation code, but not the off switch. I'm not going to let him know that I'm here. What can I do to get those goggles? Hmm, that welder turns his back on the goggles every time something comes down the conveyor belt. I wonder if I can get him to stay at the conveyor belt longer so I can get those goggles. I don't want that welder to see me. is watching so I'd better wait. Hmm, that makes the conveyor belt go faster. I have the goggles. I don't want that welder to see me. I'll leave. I don't need to touch that anymore. Pushing this button feeds the fly traps. Those fly traps open up so wide I can see their tonsils. I believe these are yours, Kate's card. My lucky goggles! I can't believe my eyes! Ugh, 
Everything sure smells a lot different with these on. You mean, looks a lot different, don't you? No, smells a lot different. Where'd you find these? Sorry, they've been in my pocket for a while. Can I borrow your dark goggles, Caped Cod? Heck, son, you can have them. I don't need them anymore. Best not to use them for flying out of a cannon, though. Thanks, that's good to know. <laughs>